action. Hey, Adam Chaffron, Flying Fox Fruit. Coming to you today with uh, just a real quick video on a fruit tree that I call, I used to call it GR1, which stood for in my mind as Grimmel crossed with red number one. I've got several different hybrids of the Grimmels and the Reds, or we could say assumed hybrids, supposed hybrids, alleged hybrids. I haven't been able to confirm any of this with DNA testing. It's all just stuff I think. But um, it's based on valid assumptions, I think. I mean, come on, bring it over here. Look at this fruit. This is a good one that somehow the birds or the rats didn't take. That joker's ready. And if you look real close, it's even got that like um, blush from the, the, the minerals in the water, I think. It's like a waxy whitish. You see it? Yes. That waxy whitish kind of hue. I'll let you mess with it for a minute. And just, and it's not quite fuzzy, I don't think. Okay, now when you get a hybrid of the Grimmel and the Red, it would be fuzzy if that's a recessive trait, the fuzziness, because I've grown like several hybrids or what I think are hybrids of the two. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this. And it is still flowering. We're gonna do several things. I'm gonna twist it off of the tree real quick. It's not a big deal here. So I twist it off the tree, looking at the fruit. It just looks like a red to me in most ways. It really does. It's not f fuzzy or anything like that. Sometimes it does have a really cool like star shape, but this one doesn't quite have it. Let me see, do you have a knife, Chris? Yes, I do. It's so funny, I always ask someone for a knife and it seems like they never have one handy. That's a great thing of you to have a knife handy. Thank I you. I always have a knife on me, sir. Well, that's great, that means you're ready in life. And um, I hope it's clean and we didn't like dissect any frogs at school today because we're, <laughs> we're gonna be eating this, uh, <laughs> we're gonna be eating this fruit. Now watch, this is unlocking the magic. Oh, he unlocked the magic. And then let's look inside. I'll hold it really still, steady. I want the side with the seed because I'm a greedy boy, but he gets the side without the seed. And we're going to both taste it. We're not going to eat the skin. We're just going to eat the flesh and then eat the skin afterwards if we want. That's the rule. You ready? I'm glad to see you clean your fingernails for this video. Oh gosh. There you go. I know. And we're eating. There's your knife back. Your implement of... I'm only saying that because you know you're already going to gonna hear about it. Oh really? My fingernails are disgusting and you're like taking it from me? Okay. I'm thank, not. thank you. The people. Will. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> mm. I'm just gonna say it was really good. I don't know what to say else, else about. It, other than it was really good. But maybe just a little com more complex than typical. Darn good, Chris, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, it was good. The skin though, a little bitter though, and a little thick to me. I don't mind the skin. He doesn't mind it, but it was because it was so ripe. But compared to the red and like the the. Let's, do you want to taste an anomaly or super ripe? Let's do it really quick. Sure. Here, here take your, what? Well, maybe we don't need a knife to, wait, this wouldn't be the anomaly. This would be the anoc, anomaly anoc, like the junior one, right? Yes. These fruits at the bottom are so ripe, they're like rotting. Let me see if I can get this off and do this appropriately without breaking the tree next to it, right? Hold on, I got you. Can you cut up on there? Don't go off. We got a double, <laughs> we got a double thing. Going. Yeah, right? It's like cut up on him. It's like a, a oh. bad seam. We got it. Oh, this is why. Uh, this hook right here. Boom, baby. It takes just a little bit of patience. And then you can do it. Totally bit. scripted. We totally scripted. scripted. You can do amazing things. Yeah. And then now, I guess for this, we can just lift it up. Oh, Ooh, nothing broke. No. Good, we live. Now, let's rip off these suckers down here. Look, these fruits are so ripe, they're like ragged and hanging. <laughs> but that's when they're the best, Chris. Pick them off for me, would you? Yeah. I'm gonna make sure the tree doesn't get crushed. Everything lives. Mm. Pop them off. The, we should almost probably do a bricks refractometer test on these, but I'll encounter that. Mmm, mmm. I tasted one early. Alright, let me take this back. Let me cap this back on. Show them those fruits in your hand for a minute, and then we'll get the taste, and I get the small one, you get the big one, and I get both of the seeds. Those are old wrinkled bags. That should taste pretty good. Give me the, well, take which one you like, but I want one. You get the bigger one, take the bigger one. No. Mm. Mm. You can eat steel now. Chris, what happened did? It turned to wine, but it was the best wine I've had in my life. Mm. I don't like wine, but that, my friend, was incredible. That's as good as they get to me. That's as good as it gets, Chris. It don't I do. Get, it don't Taste get, some fermentation there. A little fermentation. Mm -hmm. But it don't get much sweeter, does it? Mm-mm. Does it? 
So that was what we call Anak Anomaly or Child of Anomaly. I say it is the son of Anomaly, not just the child, but the the literal the literal translation would be. The right. skin was much easier to eat on that, but it was probably because it's so ripe. I think so, and no, and also because of the variety, both factors yes. at play. Because if you eat something early and the skin is tannic, it's thicker and less thin. Is there a sense of degassing, so to speak, as it gets even, older? I don't know. More I don't mature. Even know. I don't even. Why do I got my wall in my hand? What the heck am I doing? Uh, I don't even know. I mean, I don't know even what degassing is. Well, how about that, Chris? Well, with some of the more bitterness of the skin, maybe it's released as it ripens more and more. I don't know. I mean, I guess so. That would. It's be a just a theory. Process. Yeah. No. I mean, well, basically, this is my theory. The tree is letting people, or not people, well, people, animals, nature, know when fruits are ripe by the color change. Mm -hmm. And if the color change has not occurred yet, it's not ripe. And then there's a whole, you know what I mean? If it's not ripe, it's bitter. Thanks, guys, for watching. Flyweight, any, any, any shout outs, anybody? No, I don't have any shout outs. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I do have a big shout out to the chickens today, man. All right. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Thank you.